is to wage constant battle with the bugs. This must be intelligent, organized, well-planned warfare that does not interfere with the good work of our insect friends, nor harm ourselves. Our methods must not create more problems than they solve. In recent years, chemical warfare against the insects has become widespread. Chemical warfare provides immediate relief from insect attack and infestation, and the residual effects of insecticides are extremely valuable in preventive warfare and sanitation. Chemical warfare is quick death to our enemies, whether used on a small scale or on a large scale. Of all our weapons, insecticides are the most adaptable and effective for achieving quick results, especially in times of emergency. With insecticides, vast areas can be treated in a short time, an outstanding advantage in our warfare against the insects. Backing up the battle all along the line are the laboratories of industry, government, and colleges in which research scientists are constantly developing and testing new insecticides to further the fight tomorrow. Under carefully controlled conditions, they take great pains to breed and raise healthy, sturdy insects. Tough, hard to kill little animals that might well be considered the blue ribbon livestock of the insect world. Then with equal patience, under carefully controlled conditions, they systematically kill these superb specimens in the never ending search for more powerful and useful insecticides. This research must go on and on without let up. Time after time, our insect enemies continue to demonstrate their abilities to develop resistance and immunity to specific insecticides. Perhaps the most long range and strategical phase in our conquest of the bugs are quarantine measures, which have become increasingly prevalent in recent years. Potential insect migrations and infestations are stopped at the national border line, state lines, even right at the county line in some unusual cases. Quarantine measures include the thorough inspection and fumigation of incoming ships, trains, trucks and planes and their cargoes in order to destroy insect hitchhikers. If these practices had been in use a century or two ago, Numerous foreign insect invaders would be considerably less prevalent in the United States. Today, quarantine measures are continually retarding and reducing their spread. We may never eradicate a single species of insect from this earth, but we will hold the upper hand.